Alright, and we're back with another Wii long play episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Now, before we get started, now when we, now when, when we last left off, we had just gotten our second Fused Shadow. Now, before we go ahead, there's a few things I want to do in Kakariko Village before I head on to the next Curtain of Twilight. First thing I want to... You see those, um... Those, uh... That rock and that rock right there? Alright, what we need to do is head over to Barnes's shop. He will now have bombs we can acquire there. That's the first thing we want to do. Okay? So let's head over to, um... Barnes's shop. And there's just another thing we gotta do there, too, before we head off as well. It's called getting the Hawkeye. So we gotta get bombs, Hawkeye, and two heart contain two heart pieces. And then we gotta head up to Death Mountain because, like I said, there is something that I want. I told myself I was gonna remember. Hey now, bud. How about this now? Yep, I finally managed to get my 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 <laughs> my numbers together and open up shop again. Well, sort of. I guess I've only got one type of bomb, but hey. That's one more than none, right? Right, if if only my storehouse had survived. But hey, ain't, ain't as bad as all that. I'll add more types as we go. For now, I ha have yourself a look-see. Alright, well, you'll also give me a bomb bag, you know, for 120 rupees, a premium kit. That's what he says. I'll take it. That's right. Now you'll get to taste the true height of perfection with my finely crafted bombs. Oh, and you can combine... Yeah, I know I can combine them. I'll send you a letter with my details later so you can read, uh, read about it at your leisure. Alright, now I've gotten me a bomb bag and some bombs in it. Alright. And before I leave the shop, though, of course, um, something I want to show you. It's kind of funny. Now, if you stand, uh, if you pull, now, notice that there's like flammable things all around this place. Yeah, lanterns are strictly prohibited. So if you like stand right next to them, and um, of course, they'll. Wow! Hey, now, you insane bud, that's dangerous. Don't you go lighting that in the middle of my shop. All right. So now, if you were to do it like anywhere else in the shop. He'll just soak you with water. Now Link is dripping wet. So basically, if I were to do it, like, say, up here or whatever, like, right here. I don't know how he pours water wherever I'm at, though. It's kind of cool. Alright, let's go up the ladder. We have to go all the way up here. All right, what you want to do is go up here. And that's where the shop that we blew up is at. But not, not, we're not going to that, so we're just heading up here. Heading up to the very, to the highest point in Kakariko Village. That's where we need to go. And we need to use his assistance to do it. I don't know, can I go that, um, through here and get up there? Let's see. I don't know, let's see if we can do that. Ah, I think we can. Why don't we just take the ladder instead? That would be kind of a change of pace. We get up there our, our own way. Never really done it that way, have we? Cool. Alright, what's inside that chest is going to be rupees that we can't hold, so no sense of uh, opening the chest to put the money back in. Alright. We're almost up there. I need to scoot back my bed here. It's Alright. Alright. Now let's go ahead up this ladder here. Man, if I was really here, I'd really hate to fall could easily die. Alright, let's talk to him. Link! Check me out. I'm up here keeping watch for the whole town. Yeah, any more monsters try to attack and 
I'm gonna be ready. I'll shout my head off and warn everybody. Ah, ah, gee. But if I had a bow, then I could just sit up here and shoot all those nasty monsters. Oh, hey, I know, Link. You can show me how to use one. Come on, please. Just show me how to use, how to shoot a bow, Link. Okay, okay. Okay. Why not? Oh, yes! Okay, Mala's down there in front of the spring, so go down and find him, then show me from there. Oh, and since I'm sitting farther back from the dolphin bar, the sensitivity is way better. You came, but can you really use a bow? I've never seen you so much as hold a bow back in Ordon. Whatever. First off, shoot through that. Yeah, it's a lot. Really? Huh? Yeah, I'm good. I just... I'm not a quitter. Yeah, I know. I gotta... Um, gotta get out my bow here. And I've got enough arrows. Alright, so yeah, it's a lot better. I'm gonna try and get right dead in the center. Ugh. I guess that one was a bit on the easy side. Fine. How about that? Yeah, I think that's a lot more better. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to steady my hand here. You thank God for this targeting thing. It makes it a lot easier. A lot easier. Hey! Up here! Try to hit this pole! Okay, if you say so, buddy. The last time I hit it right at the very tippy top of it. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> right at the very tippy top. Wow! You hit it! You hit it! Thanks, Link! Oh, I guess you you have you have a little bit of skill when you concentrate. Looks like you've left some battles behind you. Impressive. Take this. I got me a piece of heart. Alright, now we can go ahead and purchase the Hawkeye. But, before we do that, there's uh, another piece of heart I want to um, gather first. So, let's, let's go ahead and combine my bombs with Z. Alright, now you want to shoot this... You want to shoot this rock. All right, now there's another rock up top we can go ahead and shoot. We wanna aim up here, and there will contain another piece of heart. All right, now then, um, let's see here. We wanna have our iron boots out, we're good to go. All right, so let's go ahead in here. Now what we want to do is dive all the way down to the bottom, which puts our iron boots on. Now there's a treasure chest at the bottom of this place. You want to go ahead and open it, thus containing another piece of heart. All right, just need to collect one more, which is what we're going to be heading and doing real quite fast. Okay, we want to make sure we're done with this place first for good reason. That because it'll probably be night when we come back, so we're not going to be coming back. Only one other time. Alright. We want to take your opponent with us because we're going to be needing her for this place. Alright, now we're going to be heading up Death Mountain one last time, for now at least. Because, like I said, there was one thing I told myself I was not going to forget. Yeah, this 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 um, long play might go on a little longer, you know. But I'm just let you know that. Yeah, there's really no need to though. All right. Now that we're here, I want to face the opponent the other direction, so I can hop on her from her butt inside and 
me leave. I'm gonna aim her this direction. Eh, that'll do it. Okay. The other day, I chased you off without e listening to what you had to say. Please accept my apology, brother. If you are going up the mountain, I will launch you as high as you, as high as I can, brother. All right, get up on my back, brother. Will do. And thank you for the lift. Creeks can go a lot faster than climbing up there. Oh, in my and in my last let's play. When I first got up here, I said that those rocks, that it didn't load it in the game, but technically it did load the rocks in the game. I I just didn't notice it. I only noticed it after the Goron had smashed the rocks. Silly me. I noticed it when I kind of watched over some of it to see if the video was okay. Yeah, everything loaded okay. It's just the Gorons that were coming at me destroyed the rocks. I can't believe I didn't even notice that. I heard from the elder, brother, we are supposed to let you you go up any time. You want to go up? Yes, I do. Alright, get on back, brother. So, yeah, but suffice to say, who can blame me? Because I've seen my share, my fair share of hardships when it comes to recording, making this, getting this game to work. Come on, Link, quit diddle-daddling. Jeez. So, yeah, I've had my fair share of battles with this, getting this to work right and everything. So I've seen some, quite a few things happen, you know, so. Sometimes my mind, when I see something, I um, sometimes I just think the worst. As I've met some of my battles in my day. Come on, Link, can you get up there? Jeez, it isn't really that hard. You saw me. I am surprised you noticed me. Well, how can I not? A baby Goron setting up here? Well, a toddler, maybe, yeah. I mean, not a baby baby, but, yeah. Alright, so what you want to do... Is that a treasure chest over there? No, it's a rock. So what you want to do is hop down here. Thus, containing a treasure chest, also containing another piece of heart. Thus giving us a whole other heart container. Alright. Now, we want to continue on up the mountain, because, like I said, there was something I had to remember to do, so I have to get it done. Now, I'm going to tell you this right now, we will be doing, a, I should have mentioned this in the very first episode, but I don't think I did. So in case I didn't, um, here it is. Um, now, I will be doing a 100% on this game, all the pose, everything. So there might be some long plays that will just be basically getting stuff, uh, side questing, and all that stuff. All right, now that we're up here, I want you guys to notice this thing right here, okay? Notice this, because it's going to come real handy later on. All right, help me up there, brother. Thank you. Thanks to Goran, this is a lot faster. Yeah, these things don't exactly hurt you. They're just, they're just annoying. See, so watch. They don't exactly hurt you. You don't lose any health when you buy those things. They're just, they're just annoying. Like, well, you could walk through them, you know, if you had the iron boots on, of course. But you know. yes, I want to go up. My thank you. Nice Goron. All right. Yes, I'm much appreciated of your help. Without you, I wouldn't even be able to get up here, I don't think. Unless I had the moon jump code on, which I don't want to really mess around with right now. Alright, so well, this one won't ever, um, stop blowing out, so we just want to put an iron boots and kind of walk past it. Walk through it, actually, I mean. You just kind of want to go around. Well, you know from watching me there. Long play, so... Yup. Send me flying, brother. Though I can't really see how they think of me as a brother. Maybe just like a spiritual brother? Because I look nothing like them. Yes, I want to go up. Turtle, stop it! 
Fucking dog. Yes, I want to give up, brother. Freaking dog messes me up every damn time a chance she gets. Oh my god. Alright. Ugh. Fucking damn nunchuck. Gets caught in everything. Sorry about that. Alright. So, now, since it's on the Wii version, you want to take a, take a right. But on the GameCube version, you take a left, of course. This elevator leads straight to the hot spring, brother. Just use your way to activate the switch. Okay, simple enough. Just put an iron boots in. Because my weight isn't enough. Of course, I know if we go on except on, it wouldn't matter anyway. Because they're rocks. Look at Link's hat. It's like going straight up. Alright, well, you want to turn around. Well, you want to come over here and move this one out of the way first because it's convenient to do so, of course. Alright, now what you want to do is go ahead and push this out of the way. Alright, and now we're done. We just go ahead and leave. Alright, now, the last thing to do is, well, we're going to head to the next Curtain of Twilight now. Which it also will be Lake Hylia as well, and the, la and the last bug thing. Which is going to be so totally cool. Yep, the last one. No more Twilight after this. Except for the Twilight Realm itself. Come on, Link, get up there, will you? Yep, there's officially nothing left left to... Oh god, I hate those things. <sighs> Badly, I hate them things. Alright, well, now, you notice uh, this thing right there? Now, we won't be able to get up there until much later in the game when we have... Oh, god, I really hate those fucking things. Until like much later in the game, I really, truly, and doubtly, a hundred percent loathe those geysers very much. So much so I want to pull my hair out of my head. Yeah, I like that it's not as sensitive as it was because I like it better that way. Alright, now here's the reason that we position you point this way. So we can just keep on going with me on it. Alright, well there's really nothing else here we can do for now. Oh, I think I forgot to buy the Hawkeye though. Yep, I forgot to buy the Hawkeye, didn't I? Fantastic. We don't want to forget the Hawkeye. Now do we? I hope the shop is not closed. I'm thinking it's gonna be. I can't believe it. I forgot the Hawkeye. Yep, it's closed. Alright, well, I'm just gonna go move on then. And I also forgot that piece of heart. Now, how, why would I forget that? Oh my god, I can't believe it. I'm forgetting things a lot lately for some reason. I don't know what made me think I had it. Come on, Epona, move out of my way. Come on, get off of that screen. I can't believe I forgot that piece of heart. Oh my god. I thought I was missing one. Alright, well, now that I got it. Now, be sure to not miss that when we, you know, go. When you play. 
I uh, can't believe it. I missed it. I feel so embarrassed. Well, in any event, we got it now. Maybe we'll... Well, hey, there is another piece of heart I could nab. Um, while I'm at it. Actually, there's two more I could probably get, but for now, just that one out there. Conveniently placed, anyway. Alright, let's head back this way, then. So, I guess before we go, there's still a few things we gotta do. I can't believe I forgot the Hawkeye and that piece of heart. A little off my game. Apparently so. Mr. Link, wait! <laughs> Greetings, Mr. Link. I have come to deliver a letter. It is a letter from Barnes Bombs. Well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail. That is, you guys, comes out of nowhere every single time. All right, well, let's go ahead and read it, shall we? Let's read this one first. New sundry shop and crack. Yeah, It'd be nice if I can actually go in the shop. Okay. Thanks for the notifications. All right, let's head across this bridge. Not to mention, I can't believe I forgot to get this, too, on my way here in the beginning. Oh, that's right, I couldn't have as a wolf. Alright, first things first. Get off your pona. Quit hitting my horse, you son of a gun. Oh, I hate you. I'm glad that's less sensitive. Now, boys and girls, do not forget these hearts. Like I did. Alright. Let's head on back. How close is it, is it to being... Come on, go up. Pretty damn far from being day. Great. So, we're just gonna have to move on. And leave the Hawkeye behind for now. Nothing I can do. I'm not sitting around waiting forever. In this game, it takes forever for the sun to come up and everything. I missed it. It's my loss for now, I guess. Of course, it's not like I'm going to be needing it anyway, because I'm going to be a wolf. For most of the time. So. This is my goodbye for now. You have to go ahead and head in the Curtain of Twilight. Damn, I'm forgetting things. It's not horrible. Could have had something to do with the fact that I got a wee bit drunk last night, though. But you, know, you know? Now, there is another piece of heart that I could get here. I think I could get it. Yeah. Of course, I'm going to need my bomb arrows out. Or bombs in general. Alright. Let's go ahead and head up here. I might need my claw shot, but I don't think I need it. I don't think so. Anyway. Not for this one. Just my bomb arrows. Yeah, I've got to crawl on up the vines. Really slow. This is Link is a master at slowness when it crawls, comes to going up the thing like vines. Alright, now notice that right there. I'm gonna go ahead and blow that up, so... Okay, we caught the vine, so obviously we can do this one. I wish I could go up there, you know, like in the scoured sword thing where you can hop up the things like the toad or whatever. Kinda looks like a tree frog anyway, you know. Okay, so not that way. Alright, 
so I think it's over here. Yep, there it is. And this will contain another piece of heart. Now I... Oh, that's just fantastic. I'm a little off my game. Noticed. Okay, where's my horse? Why did it send me all the way back here? Ugh. I'm gonna call it Pona. Something is wrong with me today. Something is, anyway, yeah. I'm a little bit more than off my game, I, 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 as I originally had thought. Alright, come on, Epona, let's go. Let's go to the next place we have to go to. Just kind of zoom past those idiots. You little fucker. That's it, you're dead. I'm really pissed. You little shithead. Now I wish I did have the freaking Hawkeye. Got you, you little shithead. I like them apples. I may not have the Hawkeye, but I sure have the sense to do that. Alright, ride like the bloody hell, Epona. And I mean ride. All right. Right now the bridge is here, but soon it will be gone. All right, we wanna go ahead and blow those up. Awesome. I think I'm getting my game back now. You little turd face. the ding bridge. Now I gotta go turn around and take care of these bozos. I have an idea. I wonder if it will work. Really? Gotcha. I got him as a person. done. Thank you. Oh, now it becomes day. Well, there's nothing I can do about it right now. I can't go across the bridge. It's broken now. Alright, well, we're getting close. Very close. Idiot. Don't even think about shooting me, you little patronage ass off. There it is, the Curtain of Twilight. How beautiful indeed. Ah, we are finally here. There's only one fused shadow left. So this is the last of the Twilight you'll see, I guess. Whether or not you accomplish your final task and survive is up to you. Hee <laughs> So, what are what will you do? Well, you guessed it. 
going through this infernal contraption. Duh. Want me to the, uh... Why would you even ask? I don't know what I could do here. Because <laughs> unless I can moon jump, there's no getting across that bridge. Alright then. I guess I'll have to help you. But what a shame that this is the last of the twilight. I had become so fond, so fond of seeing it covering this world. Or is it really the last you'll see? <laughs> so shall we get going? Really one yakking. Give me you freaking little mongreling death death worm. <laughs> Kill you like the dog you are. Come on, I'm down here, you little shithead. You little shit. Come on, where'd you go, buddy? Little poop heads. Gotcha. Oh, what do we have here? Hmm. Gilius bag. But Link, can you at least promise me this? Just come home safely. Forget the Leo. Forget that you sent? Yes, we have to. Scent of Ilia. Yes, I s he smells the girl. I don't want to talk about all men is yakking on. Freaking bats everywhere on the ass. Oh my god, really? Another one. Come on, Link, quit backing up. Jeez. I wasn't pointing the stick in that direction. Crazy stud up. What the hell? I hear another one. These little fuckers are everywhere. So irritating. Hey, haven't we seen this castle before? Hehe. <laughs> so we finally made it back here. Well, only a little farther, so hang in there. Or so I'd like to say, but the going's a lot harder from here on out. Hehe. <laughs> All right then, let's get started. It isn't really that hard. All we gotta do is get there and ignore every enemy that we come across. I don't really need to use that scent to get there. I just need to run like a bat out of hell, that's all. And kill every annoying thing I come across. Another one? Damn, these guys don't give up. Apparently not. I wish I could just go ahead and rip your face off right now, buddy. Uh, someone's shooting at me now. I can't believe I just knocked that off. Die already, jeez, good lord have mercy, die down to me. You little shithead, come here, you. Okay, that's it. I'm getting kind of sick of this. There's just enemies everywhere. 
Oh, of course there's gonna be. How dare you to do that, you little shithead. Oh yeah, I'm on a roll. These guys are just... amateurs. If I hear that music again, there's some guys that need to die. Yeah, obviously. Oh, good lord, I hear them again. Oh, let's see. Uh... Okay, now which way was the castle? Oh, it's, here. it's that way then. Simple enough. Well, of course it would be that way. Duh. All right. Let's keep heading this direction. I dare you, you son of a keister head. You're dead. Oh, I hear it everywhere. You little fucker. You're so dead. Another one so soon? You're so dead, buddy. Okay, well, it takes care of you. Geez, these guys are just everywhere, aren't they? Yeah, that's all fine and dandy, I guess. Hyrule Castle Town. East Road. Hey, so did you hear? They say that a Zora child collapsed near here. I thought Zoras were typically found up north, right? I wonder why he, one came down here. Well, I heard that he was taken to the bar on the other side of the southern road. The bar? You mean Telma's place? Hmm. She's got it. Got it rough. All right. Well, thanks for the awesome info. Now I could just easily go this way. <laughs> Soon I shall make a killing off this town. I didn't mean to talk to you again, but you know. Anyway. Turn that around there. Just spirits everywhere. It's kind of sad. They have no idea what's going on. That's right. In this game, it's the other direction, isn't it? I thought I had to dig there, didn't I? Huh. Interesting. So maybe I had better follow it, follow it instead. Well, in any event, must be. Okay, so I guess I'm going to have to follow it then.
Hmm. I was just there. Okay. This is getting weird. I thought something was wrong. This boy, can you save him? All right, little lady, try to settle down, okay? I, j I just now sent for the doctor, but this is strange, a child of the Zoras. I wonder if this is at all related to the incident the soldiers were talking about in back. Ah, uh, what an emotional re reunion. Yes, a girl and her wolf. Hee <laughs> hee. Sorry, but you know how it goes. These folks can't see you either. Hee <laughs> hee. Can't see these soldiers talking about. We've had a ton of complaints from citizens who can't send prayers to the spring spirit of Lake Hylia. Go there. The location is the one I showed you on the map earlier. Got it? Cowards. What? What study it and know it well? Okay, let's check this out. Hmm. Received orders from above. To investigate why we can't go to the Spirit Spring in Lake Hylia. Got that? Well, I know why, because the water's too low. But I could just moon jump up there. So, in other words, now I've got to, let's see here, head that direction. It's fine with me. Okay, so we've got to head that direction then. Come on, Link. Get up there, shall we? we got to head this way. Okay, I'm just going to ignore you. I hope you don't mind. I don't know, can I actually go this direction? I don't think I'll be able to think of rock that's blocking my path. As far as I know. So which way do I go? I can't go that way, okay then. I knew there'd be some kind of rocks blocking some kind of path somewhere. Oh, yep. Great Bridge of Hylia.
Notice that the bridge is covered in oil. Or so it looks. Hey, do you smell anything funny? Oil, yep. Little turd. Lights it on fire. Damn, that's quite a shot, too. Quite a shot, indeed. Oh no! We're trapped! Get out of here! Well, that's simple enough. All we gotta do is push this box that way. And then hop up there and get the heck out of here. Lake Hylia. Well, wouldn't really call it much of a lake right now, though. Dang, that is one hell of a fall, though, I'll tell you that much. Phew, that was a close one. We are lucky there was a puddle down below, huh? So this is Lake Hylia, but there's so little water. Sounds like the Spirit Springs should be somewhere around here as well. Anyway, let's take a look around. First thing I want to go ahead and do is go ahead and talk to these guys up here. Come on, Link. The drop in water has been faster than predicted. At this rate, Lake Hylia will dry up. Dry, dry up. It's a race against time. Dang, there's a lot of dig spots. We've had absolutely no water flowing from upstream. There's no mistaking it. Something must have happened to, at the water source in our home, Zora's domain. Yet, how are we to return upstream to our home with the way things are now? We can't even walk back there. Dang, that is a lot of places to dig. And I take advantage of it. Well, let's head up here real fast, shall we? Shall we? Her, um, I'm too old for this. Fire in foul bees water top land of fantastication. It's our grand reopening at our new lake bottom location. We um Yeah, nice lake. Don't lakes have more? I don't know. Water? Did the Zoras who live up river do something? Or is it a curse from the spirit that floats around up there? Whatever, it's not like I can go up and complain. That's way too high. Well, don't you have a cannon? What's that? Yikes, a monster! So you say it's a monster, do you? Other oh, kind that's very annoying, apparently. <laughs> Stupid freaking monster, I hate you right now at the moment. So I got me a monster to face. You little fucker. Come on, bring it on, buddy. Oh, 
Oh, son of a bitch, you got me. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a weird face, though, I'll tell you that much. Oh, yeah. Bring it on, buddy. Come on, bring it on. Oh yeah, we're so cool, we're so cool, we're so cool. Hey, stop it! I'm your new master now, settle down. Hey, why don't we use this guy to get us all the way to the lake's water source? Yeah, why not? Bring it on, buddy. I don't have time for that, buddy. Let's go up. I think that's all we can do right now anyway is go up. You little turd face. Well, you think that's funny, do you? That was a close one, though. Ooh, that was close. Oh shit, that's gonna fall on me. Better get out of the way then, huh? Down we go. indeed. We're almost there though, thank god for that. Ah, see the light source. Kinda looks like a keyhole. Okay. Ah, we are already here. That bird turned out to be more useful than I expected. Well then, where is the village of the Zoras? Let's look for it. I think I'm going to stop this in early because I gotta go poop. It's getting cold. Hurry up! So about an hour and eight minutes, I'll probably stop it. Alright, let's see here. Let's talk to you. I mean, what are those, are those Zoras up to anyway? The rivers run totally dry, right? I can't work like this. You and me both, girl. Ugh. C cold. Ah. I miss my fur coat. And I'm going to tell you this right now, um, now I won't be getting any pose except for the ones that I absolutely have to, that I have no choice but to kill. It will only be until I've finished everything in this entire game that I'll, that I'll probably get all the pose. Well, the rest of them anyway. Alright, well, let's go ahead and head upstream, shall, shall we? 
care of that. Didn't have buddies. Oh yeah, mama jam. Oh, it had a rupee in it. All right, now we're gonna be coming across a lot of keys, a lot, a lot, a lot of bats. Zora's domain. Is completely frozen. Oh, hey, what's going on here? I thought it was getting colder, but who would have thought that it would all be frozen? This is the Zora village, right? Why don't I see any then? Because they're all frozen, buddy. Well, anyway, let's check things out. Let's find the Zoras. Yes, ma'am. First, we gotta take care of the, these stupid bats. There's a lot of them. There we go. Come on, bring it on, buddy. Freaking mouse with wings, come here. Come here, mouse with wings. They're gonna wrap with wings, is what they are, basically. Alright, come on, bring it on, shithead. Come on! The hell are you? I God, I hate these things. Very badly. Alright, let's go ahead up there. I think we can get up, get up from here. Let's go. Yeah, but still, I gotta be careful. Oh, I know I'm gonna fall off first chance I get. It always happens to me. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that in any event. Can't wait for the thing to fall. Ooh, that was close. Oh, looks like I made it in one try this time around. Usually it takes me about two or three tries. I guess I've gotten a little better at this game since I last played through it, huh? Alright, let's go and see what's going on to Zoras, shall we? Oh lord. Yeah, that's not going to work. Come on, buddy, bring it on. Come on, come here, you. Gotcha. has opened here too. We can finally finally warp. If you want to breathe the air of the world of light for a moment, let me know. I'll take you there. Yes, I want it to warp. First before I do that. Those, those are the Zoras. Wow, this is really strange. What in the world happened? Hey, what do you want me want to do? We can't just leave them like this. I think all we need to do is thaw them out. It does us no good to just stand here thinking. Let's leave and come back later. The portal should work for us. We need to find a way to melt the ice and then come back here. Warp. And then I know just where to go. Death Mountain. It's a perfect place.
This thing has been here for a while now, but it's still pretty hot. So we're following back to Sora's domain. Yep. Perfect. How convenient. And guess what's gonna be inside of it? The bottom. A Goron that can apparently breathe underwater like it's air. Which makes no sense, but yeah, you know. There we go. All thawed out. Awesome. I think I'd be a little more comfortable if I went to go to the bathroom. <sighs> Who knew that something so dangerous would come in handy? Alright, the Zoris are safe now, so let's go. The ice melted and restored the water flow to normal. Can we finally meet the spirit of Lake Hylia? Uh, cough. Uh, uh. Uh, was I unconscious? Uh, uh. Hey, hey, are you okay? Uh, uh. What about those in the waterfall pool? Hmm, let's see some other ones here. Still got time. Someone helped me. Yeah, it was me. Ah, ah, ah. Those demons. What in the world happened? Alright, well, let's go talk to the water spirit, shall we? Wait! Please, you must allow me to thank you for revitalizing both my people and this spring, which is the water source for all the lands of Hyrule. In life, I was the elder of the Zora, this is Zoroth village, and the queen of my people. I was called Rutelia. Not to be rude, but we didn't exactly do it for you guys. Sure we did. The Dark Ones, they raided this village, and as a message to my people, executed me before them. Young man, you who take the form of a proud beast. I have something to ask of you. When the Dark Ones descended upon our village, I sent my young one, Rallis, to Hyrule Castle to take, to, to inform Princess Zelda of our fate. But I fear danger followed him from this doomed place. But I feel it his presence grows fainter to me over time. But my time in this world has passed. And though I would give it gladly, 
I no longer have a life to risk in this rescue, in his rescue. Please, would you save my dearest Prince Rallus? If you do this thing, I will bestow upon you the protection of water. This power will grant you the ability to swim and respire in very deep water, as if you were a Zora. Please save my son. Hmm, so if we help her, she'll grant you the power to swim in deep water like a Zora, huh? So, what do you say, hero? Oh, but now that I think about it, I don't suppose you should meet the prince as a wolf. Ha, <laughs> he. So, no hurry to return you to the world of light then, huh? Alright, well, let's go ahead down to... Actually, I think I'm going to end it off here because I got to go use the bathroom pretty bad. I got to go... Looks like the shock of that impact not only raised the water level, but sped it up the flow, too. This water should flow all the way down to Lake Hylia. Why don't you let it take you there? Well, that's it for this long play episode of We Twilight Princess. And um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please comment. And um, thanks for watching.